there are many space conferences uh, taking place every day or uh, could be in five different ones today if, if needed. But this is particularly interesting because first of all, the new space domain is a driving one. Of course, we see it happening in the US and in other countries, but Europe needs to catch up and Europe needs to accelerate. And here, these conferences are a perfect uh, place where this happens. We have uh, young entrepreneurs, startups, uh, SMEs who are coming with their brilliant ideas and they want to materialize it. And I'm very happy to hear it, but also to help them uh, to realize their dreams. And that's something we as ESA want to do. And Luxembourg is a very good place of doing it because there's the environment and the ecosystem, which is good for that. Welcome to Luxembourg, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to New Space Europe. How's everybody doing here today? You guys feeling good? Yeah. All right, let's start it off like this. Return to the Mac. Tell me what it is, what it does, what it is, what it is it. Looking for a better way to get a better, better set of getting on the internet and check it in the him and get it up. Thank you very much, uh, Chris. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, I'm not going to rap. I'm not going to sing. I'm extremely happy. The New Space Conference this year has 800 participants, partly uh, in presence here in Ash, and partly also online, which is a record, absolute record, uh, for this fifth edition of the New Space Conference. And I think it really shows the interest of the public for what we are doing here in Luxembourg, for this new space economy uh, we are building here, which has been very successful also over the last year with uh, 20 new actors uh, adding uh, to this ecosystem. So it's something that is truly developing very well and this uh, conference today is the best proof of that. New Space Europe is a conference that we organize now since a few years with the objective to bring together the ecosystem in Europe that is uh, trying to develop the commercialization trends of space. So that means that we have invited here uh, people from agencies, of course, established companies, but the most important are new entrepreneurs, startups, investors that will also then be part of the development for the future. carry the flag of being the first kind of Luxembourg-based space startup very much in our heart, but it also makes it even more special to be here and to be surrounded by the current innovation. To be part of this startup environment that the Luxembourg government has sort of built and fostered and now really has taken on a life of its own is really, really exciting. So uh, we see ourselves as sort of part of that, but also uh, an example of what can be achieved. We've grown from that startup 35 years ago to the largest commercial space business you know, on the planet and that's really exciting and I think it also gives a, a view that any one of the startup businesses today can achieve that same thing. What we see is that the Luxembourg space sector is developing extremely well. Of course there are challenges. Uh, we are uh, in need of talent. All these entrepreneurs are looking for people uh, to hire. Uh, I think that is one challenge. Uh, the other challenge is that it is also a very evolutive context, so there are new technological developments, uh, so it is a very uh, thriving and very dynamic sector. Uh, but I think every challenge also is an opportunity uh, for these uh, entrepreneurs and also for research, uh, which, which we are working on together with all our partners. The cooperation between uh, ESA and Luxembourg is excellent. Uh, we have a very strong government supporting space and also in terms of investments into ESA, there's a very strong investment in the ESA programs. But also, the messages I get from Luxembourg are very much commercially minded and commercially driven. And I like that because I need these messages to help me as ESA to advance the commercialization agenda. And here Luxembourg is a very important voice and I really, I'm really grateful for the support of Luxembourg which is given.